Well, it's on now. Um, I get the feeling that you're a little bit uh, a bit frustrated with what happened tonight. Well, there's a little frustration because it wasn't for me, you know. The, I mean, I'm happy with the fact that my team are happy, you know, and we got the victory. But the fans that came to see me were robbed of of um, of something, you know. The Madison Square Garden didn't deserve the fight tonight because it has a history of, of greatness, and that's what I that's what I wanted. To Willing to bruise, I was willing for anything, for a war, you know. But you know, I just felt bad for for the crowd. That's pretty much why I'm kind of disappointed because you know, I, you know, I look at it in every way. But he was just gonna cover, you know. He was just gonna do the same thing. He didn't even try to do anything. So, so one thing is that you know, I just I just apologize for the crowd because you know they were they, they were. They were they, they stole the fight from me. Yeah. But uh, the, fight, the, the fight was stolen from the crowd is what I'm saying. Like the, the, you know the fight the the Argentinian guy was you know he took he should reimburse all the people. <laughs> <laughs> Did he, do you think he just came just to just to survive? Well, he looked like I mean he knew that he lost the fight, but he was really happy. So I'm guessing that was their game plan was to survive against Nonito Donaire. Mm -hmm. So tell me about it, you know, um, did you try everything in your power to make the fight exciting? I tried to, that's why you see me make a lot of mistakes by, you know, by, um, by overlapping my punches, by reaching in, by all that stuff, because all of it had intention and power, you know, and that's why you, I did, I mean, I wanted to open up, I mean, he hit me a few times because I want to get hit so I can hit something back, but he didn't give me that at all, so I did everything that I can to make it as exciting as I can, to press the fight, to to know that I can end it in one punch, but he never gave me that. So I mean, obviously you're moving up to 122. Are you, you going to feel better about uh, you know eating a little bit closer to the fight now? Probably. I mean, you know, 122 will be better. I think that there's going to be better opposition, you know, and there's great fighters at 122. Um, and you know we want to take it step by step, but 122 is definitely the next step. You know, obviously, um, Navias, uh, as you said, robbed the fans of a, a, of a what could have been a really good fight. Um, do you feel like you want to come back here again and, uh, and make right? You know, with, with the and give a really good performance again? Definitely, man. I, you know, the the crowd deserves it. You know, like I said, I apologize for the fight tonight. The people in the East Coast, Tri-State, New York area, Jersey City, all of them. You know, I apologize for that for the fight because the guy never showed up tonight, and and he made it just really unfortunate for everyone. You know, so. But I want to come back and make things right. Hopefully, get a good fight and and and, and show you guys a great knockout. But obviously, you know, you made a pretty good uh, personal. You made a lot of good personal connections with the way that you were very outgoing towards the fans and uh, you know just really open to the people and uh, you touched a lot of people that uh, otherwise hadn't been touched by a lot of Filipino fighters I mean the, obviously um, the people were feeling good about you know you as a person you know you you signed a lot of autographs took a lot of pictures they deserve it you know the least that I can do for my fans or for boxing supporters is, is to, sh to, to, to show up, give autographs, take pictures and smile because you know what, we're thankful. I'm thankful for the guys, for everyone. For I mean, just the people that, that gave support tonight. Just, you know, I'm thankful for every little thing and whatever that I can do and every little thing that I can do to, to, to just give them a smile or, or to just have a connection with them, you know, I'm willing to do that because I'm always thankful and blessed by them. You know, obviously, um, you're a little frustrated about the, uh, the, in, uh, the unwillingness to engage by Narvaez. A lot of guys at 122 that want to fight though, right? I hope so. You know, like you, like you saw tonight, as much as the guy didn't want to engage, you saw that I was, I was willing to get hit. I was willing to go to war. I was willing to do everything in my power to have a good time out there in that ring. Um, you know, but I hope that 122 will be a lot better. Oh, well, tell me, who are the guys out there that you're looking at? I mean, they got Nishioka, Arce, you know, the, the world champions. We want to look at the world champions right now and, and, and take advantage of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And fight them out there, you know. I'm, I'm willing to face anybody. You know me. You know they picked the fight tonight, and and you know the guys never showed up. Say uh, you're Bruce Champler, uh, you know, for a day, and you get to pick the guy, and you sign off on the guy, and it's uh, that fight's made. Who's the guy that you most want to fight next? You know, for a good fight and a war, I think RC would be a great fight. But for a good technical um, fight and, and good power in both 
speed and power, um, I think Nishioka would be a more challenging fight. But but Arce will always make it challenging by by always trying to engage. Do you want like a do you, do you feel like your next fight you want it to be a war type of fight? I don't mind a war. I don't mind anything. You know, this is for the fans. You know, um, I want to show out there. I want to give them a good fight. You know, um, and I want to challenge myself by fighting the best out there. You know. Um, just, just entertainment, I guess. But I love boxing, and, and I want to do everything in my uh, in my power to make it exciting, you know. But I mean, talk about the positives of this fight, though, because um, you fought a guy that uh, never been beaten before. As you had said, uh, you know, many times in the uh, in the build up to the fight, is a legend in, in his uh, country, and you know, 20 defense, you know, and he was undefeated and stuff like that. I, it was just like I said, it was just unfortunate. I mean, he could have been so much more, you know, but but um, he was he just never showed up in the fight. Have you ever, can you, in your in your um, experience, just knowing boxing, have you ever seen a guy that was undefeated champion like that, and you know had a lot to be proud of, just give up his undefeated record like that? I can't recall. I mean, the, can you recall anybody? Oh, Peter's here. No, you know, I don't recall anybody I mean, like that. You know, Baz knows all the fighters from from you know the great Argentinian fighters from the old school. You know, you, you school them, Baz. School schools what you know. That's what I'm telling. That's what I. That's what I think about this fight is. You know, we're in New York, yeah, Madison Square a, Garden, and, you know, I just feel that, you know, Nonito Donaire is leaving the smaller weight divisions, 112, 115, 118, he's leaving it, beating one of the longest reigning champions of those divisions. Hey, I took his own. Now hearing that, I mean, because I, I obviously I know that you're disappointed. You you, you put you carry the burden. I'm I'm dis look. I'm being a fan right now. I'm disappointed for the fan, and that's why I'm disappointed. Because I'm disappointed for the fans because they deserve so much more for showing up, giving support, and boxing itself needs deserves so much more than that. You know, um, and that's the only reason. I mean, I got the victory. We did everything that we needed to do. You know, Robert knew exactly what was gonna happen, and he told me don't get careless because you know this guy can 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 just. You know, I mean, headbutts or, or anything. Or he just said, you know what, this guy is not here. He's just gonna try to win. I mean, his corner is telling him just follow him, run around, follow him. You know, in his corner. And and, and Robert told me that the guy doesn't want to win. And we knew that, you know. But like I said, I'm only disappointed because of the fan. I'm a big boxing fan. And I wanted something good for the fan. So tell me, um, you know, of course, um, you know, you leave in New York tomorrow, right? Monday. Monday. Tell me, what, what do you have planned between Monday and your next fight? I mean, talk about, you know. Well, one thing that we want to do is uh, go back home. Uh, well, we're gonna kick it here for a minute, and then, you know, we go back home. Hey, grab some some pizza, uh, Liam. You know. Have some pizza, have some drinks, please. You know, enjoy. Um, thank you. You know, uh, that's it, baby. New York style. You know, uh, you know, like I said, it's it's. You know, we we're gonna go back home. We're, we're gonna enjoy our time in New York. Um, we're gonna go back home. Um, do the the our, um, Rachel's grandmother's um, burial and cremation uh, or, or viewing viewing. You know, um, but I'm really thankful of the Marshall family for, for the Martial family for just uh, for being strong for me, especially my wife, who's being very strong. You know, we prayed in in uh, in in the in the in in the locker room before the the fight that we dedicated this fight, and I hope that she rests in peace. You know, we were both crying because she was such a great woman. She was such a believer of God, and she was just just amazing. You know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a viewing and then her cremation and, and go back to the Philippines, do the wedding and then come back and, and have a 16 weeks training with Remy to, to increase speed power and, and, uh, and all around, you know, and then uh, be ready for the next fight. What do you have to say if, you, if the whole 122 pound division is assembled in a, in a movie theater and they're watching this right now, what do you say to the 122 pound division that, you know, that you're heading towards? Well, I shook off the ring rust. With the 16 weeks training with Remy, I'm, I'm gonna feel sorry for the next guy.